Looks like we made it, family. Oh, Philbert, I'm so glad we decided to move to Micro Machine City. Hey, where's the moving van? It's right behind us, dear. Full of all sorts of snack foods for our snack food business. It's full of nuts and pretzels, bags of breadcrumbs, and bird seed. What's that shaking, dear? This isn't an earthquake zone. <laughs> oh no, what is that? <laughs> oh no, it's Squirrelzilla! <laughs> Moving truck! All the snacks! All the snacks! Oh no! Oh look! Here comes Godzilla! Godzilla will save us! On the table, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, Godzilla and King Ghidorah, Godzilla and King Ghidorah from Jack Pacific. <laughs> oh, that's right, Rodan is also flying about. We have three very large scale toys from King of the Monsters. Let's take a closer look and see how well they bite. We will start with the over 20 inch long Godzilla, King of the Monsters. On the back of the box, Godzilla, over 20 inches long, articulating arms and legs, plus a small bio. Godzilla is a towering titan the size of a mountain, who rises from the mysterious depths of the ocean to destroy all monsters that threaten our world. With a deadly heat breath blast and a tail strong enough to level entire buildings in one swipe, you can harness the epic power of Godzilla to battle all that dare challenge his reign as king of the monsters. 65 years of Godzilla this year. Now we just have to get him out of this box somehow. Open box design giving you a chance to shake hands with Godzilla for the first time. Making sure he has the type of grip you want to do business with. Well, let's get Godzilla out. Whoa, that box was intense. Won't be saving that one, I wasn't really planning on it though, so no harm, no foul. Well, I guess we have to build our Godzilla and get this 20 inches in length for the tail mostly. We have two segments of tail to place together. Let's start with the easy part, or what we think should be easy. Wow, that is tight. There we go, off screen. Had to use a lot of pressure to get that tail on, and I imagine it's going to be the same back here. Standing Godzilla up a little bit. This Godzilla design always has some of the smallest feet. I thought he would require so much larger feet. Man, let's place this tail in now. Wish us luck. Whew, again, getting quite winded today. Godzilla is whole now, though, and we can celebrate. What a huge standing toy. Pretty much taking up that full table with that extremely lengthy tail. Great texture detail going throughout this Godzilla. Kind of a very muddy forest green and gray. His back plated scales, all sorts of jaggedness. And his teeny tiny head with a little bit of paint in there with the teeth, the tongue, and the eyes. Pretty basic but well pulled off Godzilla toy. Yes, we have some articulation in the arms, but not very much. And yes, we have articulation in the legs. Just not very much. No articulation for that mouth, unfortunately. And tail. Well, because of the way we placed it on, I think we can move it about at those two points where we plugged it in. I think overall scale of this one is pretty good. If you recall from the last Godzilla, we checked out the ultra enormous Godzilla toy. And as awesome as that toy was, very difficult to display and work with. And that is the 20 inch long Godzilla toy now we just need to challenge him as king of the monsters. Who's up next? And King Ghidorah is here with Argo Jet and Destructible City included. 
These are a 6 inch articulating figure. I haven't really found a King Ghidorah yet that would match up to the 20 inch long Godzilla. Probably should find a Godzilla that would match to this one though. For a 6 inch figure, not too big actually. Most of the size is all in the box. That's a lot of air to ship around from store to store. On the back of the box, King Ghidorah. Articulated figure, destructible city included. A nice image of King Ghidorah smashing that building. King Ghidorah is the massive dragon-like destroyer with three large heads capable of three times the destruction. Become the largest super species the world has ever seen as you fly into battle as a living lightning storm to decide once and for all who is the king of the monsters. I used to love playing King Ghidorah on GameCube, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters. Makes some of the best sounds of the franchises. Well, hopefully not so hard to open as Godzilla was, let's get King Ghidorah out. King Ghidorah out of box, some assembly required. We have two tails to attach. Swing them around. Looks like we can go either way with these. Probably like that. And that is helping a lot with balancing. I was a little worried there for a minute he was just gonna keep tipping over onto the faces. Wow, what a wingspan. Real quick, let's see if I can figure out this puzzle of a city. There we go, got the city together. Almost Castle Grayskull-like in color. And the small, but probably a really large Argo jet stuck to my finger. There it is. So what can you do, King Ghidorah? Hey, I just set that up. I really like how easy that fits together, though. So King Ghidorah, from all angles, looking pretty spectacularly huge with that wingspan. Although those wings do wreak havoc and top heaviness. They kind of like to swing down really easily. There's a lot of plastic in that wing. And I would like to be able to display with the wings down, but what happens is there goes down Ghidorah's heads. Not enough tail back there to balance him up. Good body detail going on, looking very leathery, dinosaur-y, monster-y going on, but not much paint, mostly just kind of a golden mustard with a little bit of shading going on throughout. Would have liked to have seen this guy much more gold. If you want one wing up and one wing down, he doesn't seem to tip over. That way you can kind of give King Ghidorah high fives. As for King Ghidorah's three heads, you may have noticed a couple popped off right out an opening. I hope that's not some sort of movie spoiler. It could be, but it's also probably just easier to produce that way. But we can pop these heads off. And rotate them around in different ways. I'm so-so with this toy, I'm a big King Ghidorah fan, one of my favorite monsters of most of the Godzilla monsters, and I think this toy could have turned out a little bit better. But still, it'll be fun to play with. It's a really good monster-like scale. I do really appreciate them adding this breakable cityscape with King Ghidorah, and the way it pieces together is really quite fun. I would love to see something like this in a mass scale with a ton of different pieces. It would be a great puzzle. Only three pieces makes up the city, but as you can see, these pieces interlock really interesting-like. And the little Argo jet, they call it, is included. Looks kind of stealthy. Tiny, something to possibly put in King Ghidorah's mouth. There we go. And Rodan is also here as well. I always like Rodan as we share the same name, but with Ro in front of it. Rodan includes Osprey, Helicopter, and Destructible City, my favorite part. You know, if you're not opening these monsters, the box design is actually really cool for display. Too bad you really kind of have to destroy the box to get them out. On the back of the box, an epic image of Rodan destroying the city with the flapping of the wings, the scratching of the claws. That little Osprey helicopter has no chance. Rodan, an ancient reptilian firebird of prey, rising from the molten lava of a volcano to conquer the sky is a furious firestorm of rage. Also a preferred zord of the pink Power Ranger. Fly Rodan into battle against Godzilla and unleash the full power of this volcanic monster. Well, let's erupt this Rodan from package, see what it's about. And Rodan out of package, what say you spin around, Rodan? Wingspan from all different angles looking quite gigantic. What is this wingspan, by the way? 
about 12 inches. Pretty large, but kind of like King Ghidorah, a little bit awkward. These wings take up a lot of space. They easily flap down on these hinges. Not very tight. Uh, just a lot of plastic on the back there. This one is a red and brown. So mostly red with some brown shading. Or is it brown with mostly red shading? Hard to say. Head rotation though. We can rotate around. I don't think you could do a full 360. Oh, it looks like we might. Oh, I hope I don't break him. Okay, we're okay. And these legs move as well. And you kind of want to push these legs forward so that he balances forward. Pretty awkward giant toy though. Seems a little more bird falcon-like than ancient pterodactyl-like. We have a little osprey included. It has no chance, of course, but it's kind of neat to have. Probably could have used about three or four of them in the pack though. And now we can build the golden break apart city. That must be the base. And oh, that goes on the side like that. I thought it might have been the top of the building. Honestly, my favorite part about King Ghidorah and Rodan now are these break apart cities. Those are the funnest part. You can't break them apart without Rodan. Oops, you missed Rodan. Try that again. So kind of a fun toy. If you are a huge fan of Rodan, then you'll probably want to pick this one up. And here is the action of today, a giant 20 inch long Godzilla with two 6 inch figure scales of King Ghidorah and Rodan. Obviously they are a little bit smaller than Godzilla, but this is kind of a cool fight setup. You've got two versus one, two flyers versus one stander, fills up a table space really well, especially with those cityscapes. And the contrast of the gold and the green and the red is actually a pretty cool see. There are smaller figure packs available which scale Godzilla down to King Ghidorah and Rodan a little bit better but I like the large scale play, it is terrific fun. Hey, maybe we should try living in this city. Oh look, a good parking spot right by the gold building. Ugh. Godzilla, King of the Monsters from Jack's Pacific arrive on store shelves April 2019. Godzilla runs approximately $20 at Walmart. King Ghidorah and Rodan run approximately 15 a piece. If you are a big fan of the fighting monsters of who is the king, Godzilla King of the Monster toys are what you need to find. Enormous hulks of plastic. They might even help you install a large flat screen TV before they destroy it. That's what I have to say about that. Brought to you by Squirrelzilla, the Alpha Titan. Thank you for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe.